हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू शिक्षा थ्री सिक्सटी जैप क्लासेस सो इन दिस सेशन वी हैव टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द चैप्टर नंबर टेन दैट इज अ टोटली थ्योरी बेस्ड टॉपिक सो इन दिस सेशन वी हैव टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द बैक ऑफिस फंक्शंस और हैंडलिंग रिगार्डिंग द अनरिकनसाइल्ड एंट्रेस के लिए अनरिकनसाइल्ड एंट्रेस बेस के लिए व्हाट आर दोस basically those entries which are not till now completely processed okay? like amount is debited like if the customer is going to pay the bill so amount is debited from the customer account from the customer account and till now not credited <coughs> in the like we can say that if you are going to pay the bill of bsnl not credited in the bsnl account clear like if you are paying <coughs> sorry like if you are going to pay the bill online so what it will they say that basically within 2 days your amount will be settled clear like all these things basically we are trying to discuss here in detail so let's start our discussion so back office there is a lot of difference between the back office if we are going 20 years back and presently now clear because everything presently it is to be online clear so back office basically we can say that they are doing the work at some another place of all the branches collaboratively clear earlier when there is no technology so they have to be come to the branches or basically at the branches level back office work it is to be going on so now let's start our discussion so what is back office basically back office basically consists of administration and support personnel in a financial services company which are who are not client facing clear who are not client facing basically it means that who are not facing the customers clear who are not facing the customers although the operations of a back office are rarely in the limelight but they are a major contributor to the banking business presently with the introduction of the computerization in the banks the roles of the front office and back office are changing and many of the activities which were previously performed by the front office are now performed by the back office clear okay so many of the activities like earlier we can say that like calculation of the interest like if like on quarterly basis earlier it you have to done manually clear by the front office personnel now it is to be calculated at the back office computer is clear it will be shown automatically in your account okay so which were previously performed by the front office are now performed by the back office resulting in cost saving and economics of scale as also freeing the time for the front office staff to focus on the sales and servicing functions clear so now basically front office staff basically will now get more time to focus on the sales and servicing function clear we can say that basically to provide the service to the customer they will have more time and one thing basically we will face also with the concept of computerization there is continuously drop down in the staff also especially in the public sector banks as you have seen that basically every year there are lot of staff it is going to be we can say that retirement but with respect to that hiring it is very less clear hiring is very less with respect to the retirement or resignation no next one so after computerization has eliminated the need of back office being a part of the branch so okay so now basically where back office is basically back offices may be located somewhere other than the bank branch or at the bank office many bank offices basically are located in areas clear because they have not to deal with the public so they are located at those places where we can say that where we have to pay the less rent clear where we have to pay the less rent we can say that so many bank offices are located in the areas and the countries basically with the cheaper rents and lower labor cost clear basically with the cheaper rents and lower labor cost so one of the important function of the back office basically is to reconcile the accounting entries 
which we have discussed in the starting basically one of the most important function of the back office basically is to reconcile the accounting entries especially the inter office entries clear basically it is to reconcile the back office entries basically especially to the especially the inter office entries to be here now move to the next one here we have discussed regarding the basics of the back office So functions performed by the back offices. So back offices basically carry out various functions to support the front office activities. Clear? So back office basically carries out various functions basically to support the front office activities. So in specialized functions like treasury operations and forex, the back office basically perform the mainstream role of directly supporting the trading room or the front office basically by controlling confirmations and settlement transactions. <clears throat> Like basically, if you are going to send the money in any other country, clear? So you will take the application from the customer and you will process the application. So after processing the application, basically it will goes to your Forex department. Clear Forex department of the bank. Clear directly, you are not able to send the amount to the foreign country. You will send to the Forex department. They will check all the guidelines here. And after that, in the end, basically the amount is to be transferred. Clear? So here. All these functions, clear, just you have to take the application and process. All other guidelines, as per the government of India, whether TDS is supposed to be detected or not. All these things, basically, they have to be taken by the back office department, clear, by the back office department. So, in the specialized functions like the treasury operations and the forex, the back office basically perform the mainstream role of directly supporting the trading room or front office back controlling confirmations and settlement transactions. So in this chapter, basically, we will confine ourselves basically to the back office functions relating to the normal banking activities. Clear? So what we have to discuss regarding the back office, first of all, we have to discuss regarding the back office functions relating to the normal banking activities and especially the reconciliation process. Very, very important. That is the reconciliation, which always have been a back office function but has undergo transformation with the introduction of the computerization in the banks clear with but has undergo transformation clear way even with the introduction of the computerization basically we have to be take care regarding the reconciliation of the entries clear we have to continuously inform the branches these entries basically you are these entries are not reconciled so all these things they have to be take care here so the back office function relating to the normal banking business so what are the back office functions which are related to the normal banking activities can be grouped as under. So first one here, that is the bookkeeping and accounting clear. So please remember that back office function totally. We have to discuss total six back office functions related to the normal banking activities clear in the examination. They will ask which of the following are the functions relating to the normal banking activities clear, which of the following are the back office functions relating to the normal banking activities. So kindly you have to remember all these things. First one here, that is the bookkeeping and accounting. Clear. First one, that is the bookkeeping and accounting. So transaction processing, maintenance of journal ledger and other books of account, balances of the branch account, reconciliation of the entries and subsystems, preparation of the finan financial statements. Clear preparation of the financial statements. Clear. All these things basically comes under the bookkeeping and accounting. Clear. That is first one, that is the transaction processing. Maintenance of the journal ledger and other books of the account, balancing of the branch account, reconciliation of the entries and subsystems, preparation of the financial statements. Clear. All these things basically come under the bookkeeping and accounting. Second one, that is the deposits. Deposit, I have already taken the example deposits like calculation and the posting of interest, service charges, reminders for the renewal of term deposits, like term deposit like FD. It is going to mature on this day. So basically you will get your information regarding that, that your affidavit is matured on this day on the email also. Or on the. Phone also clear like email you will get on on the phone in the form of text message. Okay, so calculation and posting of interest service charges reminders for the renewal of term deposits nature of the operation of account either it is to be jointly or single 
even if you are going to the branches basically for the updation of the nominee clear you will get the messages clear so all these basically comes as under the back office in the front office basically all these work is to be going on and back office that is they have to update the customer next one that is the loans Processing end-to-end -end loan originations or any expect of loan servicing. Clear under the loans, basically we have to do processing end-to-end -end loan originations or any expect of loan servicing, loan modification, default management and collections. Clear default management and collections, calculations of EMIs, calculation and posting of the interest, panel interest like. You have not paying your installment on the due date. Clear if you are not paying your installment on the due date. So basically penalty will be also charged on that. That will be uh, all these things basically will be done by the back office on time. Next one. Processing fees, commission and prepayment charges, clear? Like you will see that basically in the public sector banks, you will never, basically very rarely you will see that the prepayment charges if you are taking any loan, clear? So you can also close the loan before the time without paying any extra amount, clear? So it depends upon guidelines to guidelines as per the banks. Process implementation for the credit products, operational limits, risk management, etc. Clear all these things basically comes under the loan. That is to be also done by the back office. Clear. So till now we have discussed three functions, bookkeeping and accounting. Second one, that is the deposit. Third one, that is the loans. Clear. Third one, that is the loans here. Now we have to move to the next three functions. Fourth one, that is the Regulatory compliance, clear fourth one here, that is the regulatory compliance. So identifying the KYC gaps, like basically you will see that basically KYC gaps, what is the meaning of that? Like due diligence or KYC updation as per the risk categorization, clear like high risk, it is to be two year medium risk it is to be eight year low risk it is to be 10 year okay so if the customer it is low risk so you will get that after 10 years the kyc it is to be re-updated in the system clear so the, all these things basically comes under the regulatory compliance clear so they have the function to check all these things and deliver a message to the respective customer next one that is customer grievances redressal system all these things comes under the regulatory compliance Fifth one, that is the e-banking. Like customer had done the payment, but it is not received on the other hand. Clear? So they will check on the back end where the amount basically will stuck. And within how many days basically it will be refunded as per the RBA guidelines. All these things they have to be taken. So handling transactions through the internet, mobile banking or ATMs, card-based payments, etc. Clear? All these things come under the e-banking. Other function, other function like clearing. Clear? Like you will aware that CTS. CTS is basically check. CTS here basically stand for the check transaction system, clear? Like in the branches, basically what you have to do, you just have to scan the check and send to your clearing section. So all the function at that place, it will be done by them. So in the under the other function, clear? So this is also one of the back office function, clear? So in the examination, they will ask question, clear? Which one of the following it is under the other function and under the back office function? like clearing, collection, remittances, etc. Clear. All these things also come under the back office function here. So please tell fast now all the six function <coughs> of the black, basically back office. It is to be clear to all of you. And I request to all of you go through the slides also. We will provide you the questions. Now move further. Reconciliation functions in the banks. Clear. We have discussed what are the functions of the back office. Now we have to do what are the reconciliation. Clear how basically which things they have to reconcile and what are the 
ways regarding all these things we have to now discuss so the basic reconciliation functions in a bank can be divided into groups as under so how it will be divided first one that is reconciliation of the account clear first point here that is the reconciliation of the account for payments involving intermediaries it's clear basically for payments involving intermediaries so like you have payment of bsnl plan line bill clear so you have pay your bank app so it is not necessary that the bsnl has account with that specific bank like we can say that yuko bank app so it is not necessary that bsnl have you account with the yuko bank so in the meanwhile the amount will basically will goes into some another account after that reconciliation basically will be done that is the amount will basically will go to the bsn so this is the intermediary clear so reconciliation of the accounts basically for payments involving the intermediaries second one reconciliation of the accounts basically with the correspondent banks clear with the correspondent banks under the correspondent banking or reconciliation of the bank's accounts basically with the rbi and other banks and institutions clear presently like cts it has to be introduced clear otherwise earlier basically all banks have to maintain balance basically with the like basically with the sb clear for the clearing functions clear now all these things are to be outdated clear with the introduction of the cts clear so reconciliation of the bank's accounts basically with the rbi and other banks and institutions like here they have to maintain the ratio like crr ratio clear all these things basically they have to done by the back up so reconciliation of the intra branch entries and subsystems reconciliation of the inter branch or office entries clear all these things they have to be done by the back up so the reconciliation related to the inter office entries are the always remained an area of concern for the banks and even the advent of computers had not been able to resolve it fully clear like inter office entry okay so basically one thing i will tell you like basically with the introduction of the digital banking also you will see that it will be beneficial for the customers clear it will be beneficial for the customer but it will create a lot of problems to also the customers because customers are not that much aware like basically what they will i will see that some of the issues i will tell you like customer like we can say that they are using not official apps they are using third party apps so at these apps there is we can say that basically easy to use but they are more fraud prone areas clear so we have to be guide the customer basically to use the officially bank app so that they are aware regarding all the guidelines and they will protect themselves basically from the frauds Okay, now move to the next point. So reconciliation of the accounts for payments transaction involving intermediaries. Clear. So we have to now reconciliation of the accounts for the payment transaction basically involving intermediaries. So the use of the electronic and online payment boards for payments to the merchant basically for the goods and services like bill payment, online shopping, etc. has been gaining popularity in the country like through the qr code or through the up okay so the increased facilitation by the banks and pre payment issuers clear so the increased facilitation basically by the banks and pre payment instrument issuers of the use of electronic modes by the customers for payments to the merchants generally involve the use of intermediaries like aggregators and payment gateway service providers clear like you will see that many of the places you will see that the qr code of the ptm so the amount basically will be credited to the ptm account after that in the day and they it will be reconciled and it will be credited to the customer account clear credited to the customer account or on the next day basically it will be credited to the customer account clear so that is the thing they are saying here that is all these are like ptm here what they are basically it is a payment gateway 
okay so further electronic commerce and mobile commerce clear further electronic commerce and mobile commerce service providers have also been acting as intermediaries by providing platforms clear basically by providing platforms for facilitating such payments clear basically by providing platforms for facilitating such payments in most existing arrangements involving such intermediaries clear in most existing arrangements involving such intermediaries the payments made by the customers basically for settlement of the e-commerce and commerce or bill payment transaction are credited to the accounts of these intermediaries before the funds are transferred to the accounts of the merchant in final settlement of the obligations of the paying customer clear so basically these are generally credited basically to the accounts of these intermediaries before the funds are transferred to the accounts of the merchants in the final settlement of the obligations of the paying customers clear of the obligations of the paying customers clear so in this way they are trying to reconcile the entries basically of basically like we can say that of the online or electronic mode payment systems clear Now move to the next point. So any delay in the transfer of the funds, clear like you are paying the bill on the last date. So if the entry will not reconcile on the same day, so you will have to pay the penalty also clear. So how they will do all these things. So any delay in the transfer of the funds by the intermediaries, the merchant accounts will not only entail the risk to the customer, and the merchant but also impact the positive system, payment system clear but also impact the payment system so with the view to safeguard the interest of the customers and to ensure that the payments made by them are duly accounted for by the intermediaries receiving such payments and remitted to the accounts of the merchants who have supplied the goods and services without undue delay clear so with the view to safeguard the interest of the customers and to ensure that the payments made by them clear and to ensure that the payments made by them are duly accounted for by the intermediaries clear are duly accounted for basically by the intermediaries receiving such payments clear receiving such payments and remitted to the accounts of the merchant who have supplied the goods and services without undue delay so rbi has issued guidelines basically for opening and operation of accounts and the settlement of payments for the electronic payment transaction involving intermediaries to ensure safe and orderly conduct of such transactions clear so basically there is also risk like that in the case of the amount goes into the intermediary clear so they will do default also so all these things have to be take care here okay so that is all these function it is to be done by the back office and that is regarding the reconciliation of the accounts basically for the payment transactions involving intermediaries okay so further so increasingly banks are entering into the agreements basically with the third party vendors for management of their atm operations also like atm operations so at some places basically atms are to managed by the branches and at some places basically it is to be managed by the third parties So like customer is going to withdraw the money from the ATM, but the amount is deducted from the account. ATM basically amount is deducted from the account, but not dispensed from the ATM. <clears throat> so it creates a dispute, clears all these things basically it has to be done by the reconciliation department in the back office. That is the amount is to be recredited, basically credited back to the customer account. Okay. So these vendors basically collect the amount from the banks and are responsible for loading the amount in the ATMs. They are also responsible for collecting that is deposited by customer. Like there are some places that BNS, bunch note acceptors, clear that will perform the basically accepting the deposits and withdrawing the funds. Both functions. <clears throat> okay. So they are also responsible basically for collecting that is deposited by the customer the amount from ATMs and depositing with the bank so reconciliation basically with these vendors periodically it is to be necessary so banks normally centralize the process of monitoring atm balances 
So this centralized department basically monitors the balance as per the books and balance is basically as per the ATM machines. Clear? So they have to be checked all these things to be here. That is to be commonly referred as the switch balances. And the reconciliation and ensures timely adjustment of the reconciliation entries. Like basically within seven days, like ATM entry, it has to be reconciled. Clear? Otherwise, banks have to pay the penalty. Okay, so these are just one or two examples to understand the concept here. Clear to understand the concept here. So in this session, we have to discuss up to this much point. In the next session, we will discuss some another terminologies along with some MCQ discussion like reconciliation of the accounts with the correspondent banks. What is correspondent banking? What is Nostro account? What is Bostro account? I will cover in the next session all these things along with the reconciliation of the bank's account basically with the RP and other banks and institutions, clear? All these things we will have to cover in the next session, clear? So in this session, we have discussed just regarding the basics of that. So I request all of you go through the slides already provided in the group and try to cover all these things, clear? At least go through two times. So that because why I'm saying that because these are the easy topics. If there will be two questions asked from these topics, so definitely you are able to answer the question, clear? So that's why basically we will cover all the easy topics first of all so that you are able to answer all these questions clear we will cover numericals all these things in detail so thanks to all of you for joining this discussion